Hey everyone, it's Mike Wave Sam. In this video, I'll show you how to fix a problem when you download a file on Google Chrome. Basically, what you get is failed virus detected. And this happens because your antivirus software detects something that it doesn't like in a file and deletes it immediately. So, you may have Windows Defender on your machine, and you likely do if you have a Windows installation, because the update installs Microsoft's antivirus software called Windows Defender. Now, this is probably the problem that you're experiencing or some other antivirus software on your computer that is deleting the file. So you can temporarily shut them off, but in this case, I'll show you temporarily, rarely shutting off Windows Defender. Now, to show you the problem to begin with, if you click download to download your file and you save it, Malware detected. Windows Defender is taking action to clean detected malware. So you'll see what antivirus software is the problem. And then at the bottom left, you'll see failed virus detected. So detected threats are being cleaned, in my case, by Windows Defender. And to fix this problem and to circumvent it, you have to first, you can use search the web and Windows to find Windows Defender on your machine or the name of the antivirus software. And then you can click on Windows Defender. It may appear as this wall icon on your taskbar. So click on it, double click on it, open it, and the first thing you go is settings. In settings, you will find real time protection, and you can turn this off temporarily. And then you can proceed to download the file, and you save it to wherever you want to download it. Now the download works fine because antivirus is off. And now we go back to settings and turn real time protection back on. Then we close this window out. Now we'll go to our file. In my case, it's a zip file. And then I'll try to extract it. Now it says operation did not complete because the file contains a virus or potentially unwanted software. Basically, Windows Defender, once it turns back on, it says it doesn't like this file, so it deletes it. But it deletes the problem of it. So it puts it in this quarantine. And basically, all we have to do to fix this problem is open Windows Defender again. And go to the History tab. And we'll see the quarantine items over here. Click on here in the first bullet. And go to View Details. Now, look at the time, look at, scroll down, and look at the files. So I know I saved my file in documents, and here's the file. So this is the one that I want to allow. And even though it says Trojan, I know that I want to allow this file because this is a program that I want, regardless of what it is. Now, I will check the detected item, and I will restore it. And it says that there is a risk, but if you trust this file, let's say that you want a Microsoft Office cracked, and Windows Defender says it doesn't like it, but you need that file, then hey, by all means, you should be able to choose what files you want. So you hit yes, you hit X, then you try to extract it again, and it extracts a file, and you can do whatever you want with this file because you've chosen to let this file exist. And that's all there is to it. If you have other antivirus software, the commands are different, but it's generally, you turn it off, you download the file first, and then you turn back your antivirus software, it may detect it, and then you restore it from the quarantine area. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, hopefully it helped you. Leave it in the comments if it doesn't work, and I'll try to help you out.